Two eight five one, turn right heading one eight zero. One of the busiest days in channel history continues and I'm trying my absolute best as a one-man show to ensure you continue to get all the updates across all my social media coming from the 2019 Paris Air Show. Today we have some major news. I'd be willing to bet this is even more major than the launch of the A321 XLR. Just months after ET302 occurred, Boeing has received the first order, or should I say letter of intent, for their Boeing 737 MAX from the International Airlines Group. And this is their second order for the day for a whopping 200 737 MAX airplanes. This is not something I expected in the slightest. IAG is the parent company for the likes of Aer Lingus, British Airways and Iberia and fly over 100 million passengers a year combined. The deal is valued at US $24 billion at list prices and is absolutely huge. Huge, and I cannot express that enough, not only for Boeing, but also for the 737 MAX program, and really airlines putting faith in that program. The IAG chief executive, Willie Walsh, said, We're very pleased to sign this letter of intent with Boeing and are certain that these aircraft will be a great addition to IAG's short-haul fleet adding, we have every confidence in Boeing and expect that the aircraft will make a successful return to service in the coming months, having received approval from the regulators. It's also been revealed that the aircraft will be heading back to the likes of Vueling, Level and British Airways in London. IAG has also selected the 737 MAX 8 and the larger 737 MAX 10, which can accommodate a total of 230 passengers. But it's very much worth mentioning that we do not know the exact split between the models in that order or letter of intent for 200 maxes. Meanwhile, Kevin McAllister said, We are truly honoured and humbled by the leadership at International Airlines Group for placing their trust and confidence in the 737 MAX and ultimately in the people of Boeing and our deep commitments to quality and safety above all else. Adding, We are delighted that the IAG team recognised the superior qualities of the 737 MAX and has indicated an intention to return to the Boeing 737 family. We look forward to building on our long-standing partnership with IAG for many years to come. The move from IAG is a major and also unexpected one. I don't believe many, including myself, really thought that the 737 MAX would be receiving orders, especially considering what has been occurring in the past few months with MCAS and more. I'll dive into my own opinion here, but I believed if a group or an airline was to order the 737 MAX, they would get a lot of backlash and it would not be a good look on their business considering the 737 MAX has been front and center of media attention since as long as I can remember. So, with that being said, hopefully the next video will be the day two recap if something else doesn't occur, but on Twitter, I have been known to jinx things, so probably something else will come soon. Anyway, stay tuned for probably a 20-minute update, and I do very much look forward to seeing you all in that one. Oh, well.